it. I think the thing that people are uh, weirded out by when it comes to intelligence agencies in this day and age is that they kind of act autonomously. They kind of act outside of what we think of as the government. We, you know, like we think of the government as been a bunch of people that get elected and those people do the the rule of the people. But mm-hmm. the the people that are in the intelligence agencies, they they're there forever. And that's the the term, the deep state, that everybody's so concerned with, right? That that's yeah. a, a common phrase that's been brought up over the last, you know, decade or so, where people are very concerned about the deep state. That there's a government that has its own rules and its own ability to enact things that are outside of uh, elected officials and, and yeah. the, the will of the people. Yeah, and I, and I and I can see why people think that way. Um, Having been behind the curtain for all that time, um, I guess there's there's two parts to this. Is one is never say never, right? I mean, I, I you never want to discount the idea that that um, the intel community or law enforcement or whatever could, you know, uh, essentially develop a mind of its own, work uh, separate from whatever government administration the people think they've elected into office. So never, never say that couldn't happen because you always want to be wary of that. I've, right. I've spent enough time overseas in, in places where that happens, right? Every and and, it, and and worse than that is where you know a dictator comes in, he goes out, wholesale cleaning, and then he the new guy brings in all his people, right? And they're just basically doing the will. Now in a way that's more transparent, right? Because you know, you know what you're getting, right? right? You're getting that guy's intel service or that guy's law enforcement. Um, but having worked behind the curtain, um, at least the time that I was there, the agency was uniquely apolitical, right? I, I, all the people that I traveled around the world with, or the people that I met, worked with, in various parts, we never talked about politics. It was just not. It was not an issue. We never. Do you never think that changed that during shit. Trump? I think. I think it was probably even before Trump. I think it's just been a process where, uh, and I, I have no idea why. Maybe in part because. No, I don't know. I was going to say because it's become a little more transitory. You know, in the old days, eh, whatever the old days are, you know, through the Cold War and whatever, 70s and early 80s, people would join and, and you know, the idea was I'm here for good. I'm going to retire. Right. You know? And and now it's, you know, somewhat of a stepping stone to other things. And and so it, people move through these organizations on their way to somewhere else. And, and maybe that creates, you know, um, some of this. But... I don't want to say it couldn't happen. I just want to say, yeah, it, it's it's something you have to be always aware of. I think that there have been individuals in various offices who got too close or too comfortable with political access. Um, like with the CIA, you always want your director to have a, a, a good line of communication with the president. Right? It used to be more important when the agency, when the director had a, a seat at the table, right? Now they're pushed below the DNI. So the DNA is the guy that talks, and, and the agency director doesn't have the same access that they used to when have. When did that change? Uh, after 9-11. You know, when they recreated the, you know, the home, homeland security became uh, the buzzword, and, you know, how do we reorganize? Because, you know, clearly it was, it was a fucking knee-jerk reaction to 9-11. Was the idea was, oh, I've, something happened, we fucked up, so now let's reorganize the entire thing, right? Mm-hmm. And so they tossed the baby out of the 30th floor and... and uh, uh, wasn't an actual baby. People are going to be like making notes. You know, we they must get it. Baby. Find, 